Dimensions and the String Theory Consider yourself as a fish, all you see around yourself is water, sediments, vegetation, other fish and the sunlight. You go about your life convinced that this underwater world is all there, because it's all that you can experience. However, there exists an entirely new environment outside of your line of sight. Similarly for us, higher dimensions are the new environments we can't perceive. The string theory attempts to reconcile relativity with quantum mechanics, it only works if we assume there are much more than the four dimensions we are used to. Physicists believe that there exist up to 11 dimensions in the multiverse. Zeroth dimension is a point with no dimensions. All these points in the same direction makes up a line which is first dimension. It consists length only. Two lines and direction perpendicular to each other makes up second dimension, consisting length and width. Now if we include depth in a 2D figure, it becomes third dimension, which includes length, width and depth. We perceive our world in three dimensions. But this three-dimensional world can't work without time which is the fourth dimension. Time helps plot an object's location in the universe and also adds a way for the third dimension to change. Here is what our four-dimensional object looked like in 3D. It is represented in form of tesseract, which includes a fourth spatial dimension perpendicular to third dimension. These higher dimensions are imperceptible to us, because they exist on a subatomic level. In the fifth dimension there would be a new world that would allow us to see the similarities and differences between our world and this new one, existing in the same position and having the same beginning as our planet. The sixth dimension is an entire plane of new worlds that would allow you to see all possible futures, presents, and pasts with, again, the same beginning as our universe. The Big Bang in the seventh dimension we have the possibility of new universes with new physical forces of nature and different laws of gravity and light. Where we encounter new universes which have a different beginning from ours. Eighth dimension is a plane of all the possible pasts and futures for each universe, stretching infinitely. The ninth dimension lays bare all the universal laws of physics and the conditions of each individual universe. In 10th dimensions, at this point, anything is possible. There are all futures, all pasts, all beginnings and all ends, infinitely extended, a dimension of anything you can imagine. Everything comes together. A universe cannot have more than 11 dimensions because of self-consistency, they become unstable and collapse back down into 11 or 10 dimensions. String theory also has an answer for the mysterious moment before the Big Bang occurred. The universe then consisted of nine perfectly symmetrical dimensions and one time dimension. The four fundamental forces, gravity, weak nuclear, strong nuclear, and electromagnetism were held together under extremely high pressure and temperature. When it became unstable, it broke into the dimensions of time and space we know today.